Jacob de Boer, you traveled in Tanzania twice uh, to understand the origin of the coffee. You visited a coffee plantation and you uh, observed the life of a small community, of Songa community. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, why did you decide to do this project? Uh, I have thought about doing a project on coffee uh, for a long time, but not from a journalistic perspective, but from the idea of uh, feeling this relationship of man and the earth. It's a very, you know, coffee is a very complex and uh, fragile journey that this goes on. In my photography, I'm interested in our relationships of man and our world around us. And if you look at a place like Tanzania, this little green bean goes through many processes or metamorphosis and uh, you know we build machines to extract the elixir um, and um, so and, and it ends up in someone's cup and you know um, you know our entire culture is built around this idea of having coffee we go for a coffee uh, and so I, 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 I was interested in this idea of what goes behind this highly alchemy process and it's so true so this was this feeling I, uh, I carried with me black and white photography gives two things, I believe. First of all, I believe it, it has a poetic quality to it. And so for me, it gives an almost abstract and real experience at the same time. At the end of the project, uh, what did you brought back uh, from a point of view, from a photographic point of view, and also human one? Uh, great question. Um, for me, I, I brought back this sense of this this relationship these people have with this land and the way they the way they are in their world and I found it fascinating and I kind of appreciate the fact that they weren't just being slower in their way of life but they were appreciating the world around them and so I I took that I take that I carry that with me still now and it's been months since I've been there uh, from a pho photographic point of view what was interesting was this dichotomy I saw in the rainy season versus the dry. In the rainy season, it was very apparent that it was nature's turn to make this coffee bean, to, to grow it, and everybody was aware of it. And then in the dry season, the harvest, it was man's turn. And, uh, and I love that, 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 that symbiotic relationship. So. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much, Valentina.